Wonderful news, everyone. Can you believe it? We should be expecting a potential trade deal. Potential trade deal coming today. You got that right. Meeting at 2.45 Eastern. We'll entirely see how long that actually takes place um, and what comes of it. I don't believe it's going to be any sort of permanent solution, obviously. Uh, as far as it's concerned, obviously, we've been having this issue for quite a while. It should be maybe at least a limited deal, whether it be delaying tariffs or certain items not getting tariffed. We'll entirely see what uh, what that means. As far as a final solution, uh, I do wish we could just obviously go ahead and, and end this nonsense. But if you're looking on a, a political sense, I think it slightly makes sense to hold off on it um, until election season. I, I think it's a, a kind of a bartering technique where, where you could say, well... You know, if Trump wants to say, I'll get this deal done if I get reelected, it might help him out a bit. Or it, it might be better to get the deal done quick so you can show that you did it. So that's going to be an interesting thing to see how they decide to play that. Um, I think they're going to be waiting around for it. I think this is going to take a little while. This could be a limited deal at least, which, which is all I can be hopeful for. If we do get some sort of deal out of this, you'll see stocks rise, which is going to be fantastic. If nothing comes of it, well, it's going to be pretty rough. We're probably going to have a, a pretty rough day coming on Monday for us, probably, you know, down around 1.5%. Like, you know, we're up around 1.5%, so um, we'll see that pretty much reversed on Monday if that happens. As a result, obviously, just some just a couple more related news articles, um, just so this isn't a boring, you know, tiny little video. Um, semiconductors up uh, 2.5% right now. See some of these ones listed here. Qualcomm, uh, Broadcom, NVIDIA, Intel, and uh, ASML. Look at that. All up around 3%. That's pretty exciting for these semiconductors. Good thing. Good things are happening at the China Trade Talk meeting. Warmer feelings than in recent past. I would like to see something significant happen. I would too. I'd love to see something significant. It's huge. We're going to huge do with China. I can't wait. I don't know about you. We'll see. He said this before, and nothing's come of it, but there's warmer feelings. I love warmer feelings. It makes, you know, they might have some love for each other. Um, that's it for as far as this trade deal is concerned. Just a couple other news articles um, that are important here. Um, 737 Max return, the Boeing 377. 737 MAX, obviously the, the plane that has had quite a few issues, a few crashes um, that were taken off of, of anyone's flight schedules. They're being delayed now until January at least. So something to look at there for uh, for Boeing. They've been beat down pretty heavily because of it, but something to look at there. So they'll, they'll have the planes returning. We'll see how that goes. And also we see consumer sentiment strong that's right there's obviously a preliminary one so obviously not through the end of the month but so far 96 versus 92 and 93.2 prior that's pretty wild right current economic conditions 113.4 versus 107.5 consensus is 108.5 prior index of consumer expectations you know that's higher that's pretty exciting so i don't know about you but to me that's you know that's a pretty good looking, pretty good looking numbers there. You know I, I like I like this kind of stuff. I want us to beat on any of these aspects as far as the economy is concerned. We want to keep on rocking. That recession can stay away, and this kind of stuff will let it stay away. And finally, I have one more note of news, which is pretty significant in my opinion, that uh, Greg Foreign is stepping down as president and CEO of Walmart. Um, that's going to be an interesting thing to see. Greg Foreman's been running the company for quite a while, and the stock's been taking off lately. Um, John Ferner, who is currently the CEO, uh, president and CEO of Sam's Club, will be taking over that role as well as still keeping his role at the Sam's, at Sam's Club. We'll see. Um, I know from previous history, as far as Sam's Club leadership is concerned, uh, pretty much all of those uh, original top-level executives are gone at this point. Ferner's the last one that actually is still there. 
So we'll see if he's just going to completely flip to the Walmart side at this point and they're going to have someone else replace him on the Sam's Club side. It's a business. I don't know exactly where it's going to be standing in you know five years from now, but we'll entirely see how that goes. Um, see what uh, what John Ferner has with Walmart. I mean, overall, I think there's not going to be much changing, but you never know with this. And any sort of leadership change could be quite a significant change, and we just don't know. Um, and obviously, you see his Ferner's uh, past goes. He was an hourly associate starting 1993, and then. Somehow I became CEO in 2017. That's pretty impressive, honestly. Um, I don't know about you, but I find it pretty impressive that in, you know, 24 years you become a CEO. I mean, it's pretty hard to become a CEO. I don't know about you, but definitely shows some impressiveness there. So he knows what he's doing. We'll see how things go here. So that's all I got for you today, though.